It's a very cold and wet day here in Santiago. I don't know if you can quite see outside, but it is not a nice day. We've got two more days of this before we head off to Sydney. It's Thursday at the moment. We fly out on Saturday morning at 1 a.m. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of stuff here and here ready to pack into a suitcase. It's not gonna pack itself. We've got two days to get all of that done, check in, uh, finalize some things around here. I'm not too stressed out. Uh, I guess I'm a little bit more excited about going back to Australia after five months, really looking forward to it. But of course, that suitcase isn't gonna pack itself. So it's time for a suitcase packing montage in time-lapse. So we've made it to the airport, or haven't been able to check in online. I had this same problem coming to Chile about five months ago. I couldn't check in for a while. Eventually I was able to check in online, but this time we've got to come to the actual counter to do a check-in. The whole family's here, say hi. So, hi. We'll see how it goes, but we've got plenty of time. They are massive attention seekers, just ignore them. Okay, ready to go. I found myself a Pokemon gym here in Auckland Airport. It has a Farfetch'd and a Kangaskhan. I'm gonna try and put in a hair across from South America. Well, we arrived safely uh, in Australia. Um, it's actually a few days after we left Australia again. I'm in Bali at the moment. It's the day of my brother's wedding. I'll have a little bit more on this later. Uh, but suffice to say, we managed to get out, buy a few things while we were in Sydney. Denise has been quite impressed at not just some fancy places like T2, but the regular stuff that you can find in a supermarket like the spices or the Indian food um, aisle that you just don't find in Chile. While that, we also uh, went on a little bit of an adventure to Sydney Uni. Uh, Denise really liked the quadrangle building and made her feel like she was at Hogwarts. And I managed to find a few things from a past life of mine at UNSW. 10 years ago when I was in the UNSW review scene, we were here at Sydney Uni doing a poster run at midnight. We were running away from security and came here underneath this uh, sort of overpass and put this poster uh, the Lie of the Bitch and the Xenophobe 2005 Law Review up. Every review since then, when I came to Sydney Uni, we put up more posters. This one here, Kill Bulk Bill, it's the show that I directed, and I told others, keep putting posters here. And you can see now, it is full everywhere, every spot, taken up years and years of UNSW reviews, have put their posters up here. Uh, and I'm, I'm very happy to see that the tradition that started with me in Law Review 2005 has gone on to this day, it seems. Makes me very happy. Anyway, I've got to go because I've got to get ready for my brother's wedding today just uh, around the corner, but I'll have a little bit more of an update of how things have been going here in Bali for you later. <laughs> 